In this video, we take a look at how to convert between base 10 deanery and base 2 binary. So we already understand that everything in a computer system must be stored and represented in just two states, zeros and ones, known as binary. This includes all numbers. So how can this work? How do we store the number 89, for example, when we only have zeros and ones available? Well, let's take a step back and appreciate that humans already use a similar system known as deanery. We represent all numbers using just the numbers zero to nine. Each digit having its own unique symbol. Perhaps because we only have 10 digits on our hands, it makes sense to count with just 10 unique symbols. So what happens when we get to the number 10? Well, as we have no more unique symbols other than 0 to 9, we say that we have a 1 and a 0. Or in other words, 110 plus 0 ones. 1, 0, 10. This continues, and if we think about the number 89, that is eight tens plus nine ones. Or to put another way, eight times 10 plus nine times one. To store numbers above 99, we simply introduce another column. This deanery number system is known as base 10. The binary system, known as base two, works in a very similar way. The only difference is there's no number above a one. Therefore, when we want to represent the number two, we have no unique symbol for that, and we have to start using a new column. The number three, for example, in three bits would be zero, one, one. That means we've got no fours, plus one two plus one one or naught times four plus one times two plus one times one equaling three. So with a binary number system each column doubles the one before. So how do we convert from a deanery number to a binary number? Well, there are two methods. Both are equally valid and you just need to use the one you feel most comfortable with. There is the divide by two method, which makes use of modulus, the remainder of division by two, and the binary number line method. Let's take a look at each method in turn. OK, so here's the divide by two method. So we're going to start with the number 89 and we're going to progressively divide it by two and work out what's remaining at each stage. So we start with 89, we divide by two, which gives us 44 and there is one left over. So we write a one in the remainder column and we continue. 44 divided by two is 22 with zero left over. 22 divided by 2 is 11 with 0 left over. 11 divided by 2 is 5 with 1 left over. 5 divided by 2 is 2 with 1 left over. 2 divided by 2 is 1 with 0 left over. And finally, 1 divided by two is zero with the whole one left over. To get the binary back, we now simply read the number from bottom to top. So the number 89 in binary is 10110001. Now, quite often in the exam, you'll be asked to represent numbers in eight bits, and we only had seven here, so you can pad any leading numbers with zero. So in an exam, you'd write 89 out, 
as 01011001. Now the chances are you won't use that method in exam, so we're not going to dwell on it for too long, but it's helpful to see nonetheless. Instead, what you'll probably want to remember is simply to write out a binary number line as shown here and consider whether the number you want to store is more than or equal to the value in the column heading. If it is, we write a 1 and reduce the number by that amount. So let's see what I mean. So we want the number 89 and we start on the left with 128. Well, how many 128s fit into 89? Well, the answer is zero. So we write zero and we've got 89 left over. How many 64s fit into 89? Well, one fits in and we've got 25 left over. So we progress to the next column. So how many 32s fit into 25? Well, that's zero with 25 left over. How many 16s fit into 25? Well, that's one. And now we have nine left over. How many eights fit into nine? Well, again, it's one with one left over. Four doesn't fit into one. Two doesn't fit into one. And finally, one fits into one once with a zero left over. And again, you read from left to right and you've got the binary for 89. To convert from deanery to binary, always use this number line and it's worth showing you're working in an exam and it ensures you're less likely to make a silly mistake. You can always confirm your answer by simply adding up the columns you've got ones in. So we have a 64 and a 16 and an eight and a one, which of course is 89, the number we were expecting. To convert from binary to deanery, again, use a number line and simply add up the values of the columns that have a one in. So first we write out our binary number, in this case, 0110011010. And now all we need to do is add up the columns with ones in. So we've got a 64 plus a 32, that's 96 plus a four is 100, plus a two is 102. So the binary base two number 01100110 in base 10 deanery is 102. And remember, in the exam, you might be asked to represent your answer in a certain number of bits. So if you were told to give this answer in eight bits, you need to pad your answer with one leading zero. On that point, it's worth noting that the maximum binary number length you could get in your exam will be 16 bits. Now, we've kept it to 8 bits in this video purely for simplicity and clarity on the screen, but the process is just the same. So this means the smallest positive whole number that you could represent in the exam would be zero, and the largest positive whole number you might be expected to represent would be 65,535.